All right, hey guys, hope you guys are all doing good. So today I'm gonna to be doing a bit of an upgrade on my ASUS laptop here. Now this is the UM433 IQ model. It's kind of a very specific laptop model, um, but yeah, basically it comes with like a 500 gigabyte NVMe inside and I just wanted to upgrade it to one terabyte. So luckily I have one available and I already did the cloning process. So basically just gonna get this open and install the new hard drive in it. All right, so we're taking a bit of a closer look at the laptop. So I got my NVMe hard drive here, the one terabyte. Uh, it's a WD Black SN770. Um, okay, so now let's start to get the screws undone on this. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky for some of these bottom portions because I think we have to remove these two feet from what I've seen online. So let's find the right Torx head for this. So, all right, so it's a Torx 5 head that we'll need to undo these screws here. Now, I bought one of these uh, electronic repair kits, so it comes with a little mat on it. All right, so let's get this on here and start taking these, uh, these Torx head screws off. Okay, so it looks like we got all these out. So there's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one at the very top here. So there's like a total of seven screws there. Um, all right, so now we have to undo the feet and take off, I believe there's a Phillips head underneath here. So I think I'm gonna need some sort of prying tool probably. Let's try this. These definitely got a bit of uh, adhesive on them is annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this was the right feet. So, so yeah, you can see there's a Phillips head right here. Hope I can give you guys a good look at that. Okay. Okay, good. So now they're both off. And I kind of put them in the right order so that way I kind of know what I'm looking for. Let's find the Phillips head. Yeah, this should do. Okay. Okay, so that's one. Be careful not to mix them up with the other screws, although the size is pretty different, so I don't think you're going to be easily doing that. Okay, now let's take this off. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm getting it. Basically, you just gotta pry down from the top part here, it looks like. There we go. Bam, now it just popped up here. Okay, good. So now we'll just keep that there and try to pry along. Okay, good. Okay, so that wasn't too hard to get off, actually. So the odd side, the odd thing is like this side is popping off totally fine, but this side seems like it's stuck or something. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So it turns out there's just some clips along the top here that makes this top part a little bit tricky to pull out. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we got it out. Okay. Fantastic. So. Okay, so there's, so yeah, you can pry along this side pretty easily to pop it off, and then this side, you just have to undo some clips along the top to pop this part off. So yeah, now we can move this out of the way. Okay, so we have the battery here. Let me see if I can show you guys a bit of a better view. So this gives us a nice look at the inside of the laptop. So yeah, we have the battery here. Um, which looks okay. It doesn't look like it's overly puffy or anything, which is good. 
And you can see the fan here for the CPU. Anyway, so there's a thermal pad here. And so it looks like it goes in like so. So basically what we're gonna need to do is transfer this thermal pad onto this one. Okay, trying to cover all the chips and whatnot with this thing. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's get this off of here. Okay, I think I need a smaller Phillips for this one. You don't want to strip it, that's for sure. Okay. So now, just want to pop this guy out of here. Okay, sweet. So we just removed the, the original 500 gigabyte hard drive. Just making sure I had those power pins back in properly. Okay, now we'll put this one in. So it goes in like that, pretty easy. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to like break the computer by accident. Okay, so don't tighten it too much. Just do it like I would say finger tight should be good. Maybe I'll do some dusting actually here while I have it open. <laughs> this thing barely has any air left in it anyways. So now, just got to line this back up and put it back on. Okay. Now we're just going to get the clips back on. Okay. I always think it's actually fun upgrading these computers. So it feels like all the edges are down, which is good. So nothing's sticking up. Okay, now let's get our Phillips head back and we'll start with these screws first. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think we got them all back on. So now, well, I'll wait to put the feet back on and we'll just test it out. Let's just make sure it boots up first. Here comes the moment of truth. Okay, that's already a good sign. All right, here we go. I think we did it. Now I can test out some games on it and we can just see it running. But uh, so far it's looking good.
All right, hey guys, I really just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know, and I'm glad to be bringing content back to you guys again. Um, you know, I'm hoping to do something positive with this channel. I feel like there's just so much negativity out there these days that we, we can't let it consume us, you know, we got to continue on and uh, yeah, you know, keep making fun and entertaining content. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video I make, all right? Sharp Steels, signing out.